What's up, Cancer? Welcome to your June reading. This is for Cancer, Summer and Rising Venus. We'll be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of June. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. I hope that you're doing well. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description down below. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. And with that being said, let's jump right into this reading and see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of June 2022 for my beautiful Cancerians. Starting off with some fairy oracle messages. What do my Cancerians need to know or be aware for the month of June 2022? Show me clearly for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also want to give... Oh, a shout out to my June Cancerians out there. I hope you guys have a beautiful birthday season. We have the Journeyman. Oh, number 15. And he of the Fiery Sword. Okay, Cancer. We also have the Sage at the bottom of the deck. So Cancer, immediately the energy that I'm picking up for you is that you need to get very clear, very clear, very soon with what you want, what you're stepping into. You're stepping into this new life and it requires you to have balance with everything in your life. Like I'm talking about your own personal balance, your own wellness, how you take care of yourself. You need to be grounded within yourself, all right? Because the changes that you're about to step into are going to shape your life your destiny okay oh my god this feels like it's a big deal because it is it is but the thing is is like you have this very strong wisdom within you cancer that you need to just rely on and just to trust there's also a message coming in through strongly that there is so much divine protection around you cancer um so at, at the bottom of the journey man there's like this kind of elderly energy this represents like someone who has passed on who is watching over you so i don't know who needs to hear that if you've been maybe wondering about them wondering are they around do they hear me um do they do they still like you know are they around me are they watching over protecting me yes 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 without a doubt so here is your confirmation that's for someone out there it's like if you've been thinking about someone who's recently passed on or even maybe a long time ago you've recently been thinking about that individual who's no longer here oh yeah oh shit you know what i was wondering that earlier today too <laughs> i'm a cancer son as well i was just like i was just thinking about the person's energy and wow okay i got the message too spirit thank you uh so here's our confirmation cancer like we are so protected we are so guided and especially when it comes to this new journey that you're stepping into we have he of the fiery sword that's all about taking action that's all about having the clarity the eyes the eye set on the prize of whatever it is that you are I just locked and loaded you're locked and loaded whatever it is that you are aiming for cancer locked and loaded shoot your shot aim for that target you won't miss Ooh, okay feels very exciting and um you know there's some untested theories you may have things that you are learning so you'll learn as you go along there's going to be lots of new experiences for you you've got some really good wisdom from within from your past experiences that are going to help you on this journey but there's also you know connect with those that can i want to say connect with your elders or connect with like mentors or like people who you can look up to connect more with those kinds of energies or like there's something about gaining higher knowledge from other people or other beings i guess i mean that could be in like all types of realms right i guess just be remaining open to new knowledge and new information and let's just say if you're learning something new this is another i'm picking up on some strong messages here if you're learning something new or you're gaining wisdom from someone who is more experienced than you or someone who is older than you um you may get frustrated with yourself like you might not get it right off the bat or you might not be like the best at it right off the bat um but again it's all part of these these learning curves these experiences that are going to help you further yourself on your journey and it just it seems like in the month of june you're going to be learning some new things about yourself about you know your gifts your abilities and at times it might get a little bit frustrating or you may feel like you know there's some blockages but you have the wisdom, you have the courage, you have the knowledge to push through those blockages. And it just kind of feels like it's temporary. It's not like something that's going to be constant throughout the month of June. You might experience little hiccups. Um, just some things that come up that really 
test you, your wisdom, your knowledge, and your trust, and your faith, okay? Um, but yeah, this is really beautiful energy, Cancer. I really like it so far. So let's pull some tarot messages and let's see what's going on. What else is happening for my Cancerians in the month of June 2022? What's going on for my Cancerians? What do they need to know? Show me clearly for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in June 2022. What are the messages for my Cancerians? What's going on? What do my Cancers need to know right here, right now? Whoever's come across this video, what do they need to know? For Cancer... Sun Moonizing Venus in June 2022. Okay, <laughs> we have the Five of Wands coming out, so maybe you're dealing with a little bit of conflict right now. There's some sort of tension in the air. We also have the Eight of Swords, so if you're experiencing some conflict, some tension, now maybe this is all within yourself, maybe this is within a relationship or some sort of environment that you're dealing with, maybe there's a bit of um, conflict that you're dealing with, but either way, whether this is just only about yourself or maybe with other people that are involved, it seems like you're pretty worked up about this, okay? So um, let's just see, okay, we got the Fool coming out, Aries energy as well as Aquarius messages for cancer in the month of june 2022 we also have the nine of pentacles okay definitely seeing that you're taking some steps towards your own independence especially financial stability um i see healings taking place i see your confidence is skyrocketing this month is there anything else for my cancer is ten of pentacles hell yeah and the six of cups okay bottom of that queen of pentacles death and underneath death we have the queen of cups and the devil i do see that something that was negative in your life is coming to an end this month there's going to be some sort of resolution towards that negativity for some you could be dealing with a capricorn like i mentioned aries we do have earth and water and a little bit of air a little bit of fire nothing too crazy so yeah um let's just talk about this real quick we're going to clarify this we're going to get into the nitty-gritty so obviously use your discernment as to what messages are for you but for some of you you're dealing with some conflict at the beginning of june or kind of throughout june those little setbacks or experiences that come up situations that come up that really test your patient there we go <laughs> i was about to drop the card really test your patience and you might get very frustrated um take a deep breath i feel like with the sage that came out at the bottom of the fairy deck it's like this is just like a reminder to really tune in with that patience of yours cancer you can be extremely patient but when i when a cancer is feeling a little crabby patience is fucking low <laughs> and i could say so myself but anyway so there might be some situations that really really test your patience and <sighs> yeah and then you find yourself getting in your head and you find yourself overthinking um especially about a situation that is tense or there could be some arguments or misunderstandings now i do feel like there's a potential for that to be resolved but it requires you to look back or address some manners or some some situations or some issues regarding the past here with the six of cups so that's for a few of you it could be relating to like family matters or someone that you live with ten of pentacles um that's just like one little scenario here. We got a lot to talk about cancer because then we have the fool, which is just like the journeyman. This is all about new energy that you're stepping into this month. Um, new beginnings, new chapters, and how your life will change drastically, especially when it comes to your independence, especially when it comes to, you know, your confidence, your health. Some of you are really getting like um, super tight knitted on like, some of you might knit, I don't know. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to say though. But like super, super focused with like the discipline and structure perhaps in your routines. Um, maybe Saturn retrograde is really helping you establish boundaries in those areas. Um, but the night pentacles i really am liking this energy a lot like you can stand firmly on your own you don't need anybody else yeah it's nice to have others by your side but you know at the end of the day you have your own back and you're solid and nothing or no one can take that away from you because you are secure and you are stable within yourself and i fucking love that for you cancer um we have the three of swords out here so for some of you maybe this is relating to some sort of conflict some sort of drama that's taking place maybe this is what you're in your head about but there seems to be something that's been upsetting you or in the month of june there's a situation that seems to upset you and um maybe it's triggering something from your past three of swords six of cups maybe there's a little bit of this past energy that's triggering you or some sort of experience or relationship that you had dealt with in the past is triggering you or there's still some healing taking place so we'll look into that as well all right but 
like I was mentioning before, I do feel like you're going to be healing from this. I do feel like you'll be moving on from this and it's going to get easier. All right. Um, I feel like for those who are recently going through some sort of heartbreak or some sort of conflict or, you know, a painful situation that has you feeling really much in your head and just really fearful and triggered and uncomfortable right if you're feeling any types of ways like that in the month of june your best friend is going to be creative outlets and that can be in many different forms it doesn't have to be art it could be <laughs> anything you could be dancing you could be um writing reading fucking out in the garden like literally just some sort of outlet for you where you can express and channel that energy out so that it's not bottled up and staying stagnant within you because that will just eat away at you cancer so really get your hands on something that is creative something that you enjoy like i said like i mentioned like i was saying tight knit is like some of y'all are like taking off knitting or fucking crocheting or something so hey oh you know like maybe get like your hands on some sort of project or learn something new or like learn a new skill um to keep yourself busy and also to like expand and to learn it might be something that you end up really loving or enjoying or being really good at so queen of wands she is super creative naturally like maybe this is the energy in the month of june is where you're really tapping into your natural gifts and abilities especially healing abilities too that's awesome again whatever that you could be starting new be patient with yourself because you might not be perfect right off the bat there might be some trial error but that's how we learn that's how we grow and that's how um you know you get better as time goes along you look at professionals and the, the people who are you know going leaps and bounds with their successes and they're like how do they get there um it's like they had to go through all the trials and the the ups the downs the fails the falls like they had to go through that too cancer so just keep that in mind it's like when you look at you when you compare yourself which you try to steer clear of but it's normal we're human we can't can't help it <laughs> right especially in this kind of society but if you ever find yourself like comparing yourself to someone who's like i don't know professional or whatever it is that they do a professional i don't fucking know you're like well how do they get there i wish i could be like that it's like you do you have the capability of becoming that and you are gifted in your own ways and you have your own abilities that make you unique and um I don't know i forgot what i was gonna say so we'll just leave it at that I, I literally out my brain out of sight out of mind is gone okay um we do have a jump from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles so it looks like you're leveling up this month looks like you're taking things to the next step you stay dedicated you stay focused you put in that effort you stay consistent and like i said you stay locked and loaded and you stay focused on that target boom we go from the nine to the ten that's amazing so i also feel like this is the energy of sharing sharing um your abilities sharing your stability and even money finances sharing finances um because the nine of pentacles is a very independent energy whereas the ten of pentacles is more of like a collective kind of grouping family foundation type shit so <laughs> some of you this is like about branching out or expanding in a way where it's not just by yourself it's not just like yeah okay you're good on your own but now you're good on your own but you also have a solid team around you supporting you and helping you along it's just it's awesome this is like really beautiful energy and like for some it's like you're making new connections or the people that you're connecting with it almost feels like you've known them it almost feels like you've had a lifetime together with the six of cups it's like people that you could be connecting with or meeting in the month of june they may feel like you've known them your entire life maybe you have <laughs> maybe you have maybe this is like reconnecting to people who you have maybe grew apart from but for some it's just like the people that you're going to be connecting with new connections it's just like instant connection instant like soul mates type of energy and there's soulmates in all types it doesn't have to just be romance right i i believe we have many soulmates that's my own personal beliefs of course you may have your own but yeah i like the vibe it feels really positive it feels really good um so i think right off the bat we'll clear up whatever this five of wands is eight of swords is and three of swords get a little bit of insight as to what that's about for the group that resonates with that and then we'll take a look into all this other energy that's at play in the month of june okay all right so let me pull which which one am i feeling for this let's just use this deck okay move that over here yes 
maybe we'll move the six of cups like somewhere here just all right five of wands let's take a look into the five of wands okay so for the group i'm picking up on in this little section it's like right now things may not feel the most peaceful maybe a little bit stressful you might be feeling a little bit worried a little or a lot worked up um there's something that maybe you're feeling stuck in or there's no way out like something like that some of you feel like there's no way out of some sort of pain that you're going through or heartbreak that you're going through there's the only way out is going through it or going in it's like you can't go around it you can't go over it, you can't go under it you got to go through it that's for someone out there uh so take it easy with yourself five of wands for cancer summer rising venus for the month of june 2022 deck does not want to shuffle anymore so i think it is safe to say that it's ready five of wands for cancer we have the queen of wands coming out double confirmation could be connecting with the fire sign uh aries leo sagittarius tell me the five of wands for cancer five of swords five of wands for cancer for the month of june 2022 the chariot you know what i heard someone won't get off their high horse someone won't get off their high horse maybe there's something to do with someone's pride or ego getting in the way of a situation perhaps someone knows that they made a mistake or they hurt you or upset you or maybe there's a bit of a misunderstanding and instead of someone apologizing and like just owning up to where they went wrong someone is just like i'm a sit on my high horse like it's just kind of childish eight of swords reverse okay well that's positive so it looks like there's some sort of resolution here we also have the sun the six of swords the lovers the ten of pentacles it seems like there's some sort of resolution here so whatever the situation is whatever the matter could be about it doesn't seem like it's huge at least not what i'm seeing so i feel like i have like a loose hair on me but where the hell oh it's right here it's like tickling my arm okay so we have the queen of wands five of swords the chariot eight ace of cups eight of swords reverse so how do i want to break this down so i kind of want to say that there needs to be just like some time away so if you're dealing with a situation that involves another person and there is some sort of misunderstanding argument i honestly i'm picking up on the energy like you need some time alone you just need some silence you need a break from whoever this is both of you need to calm and cool the hell down because shit is heated and when things are heated no one's hearing each other no one's listening no one understands what the other person is saying it's just leading to much much frustration and anger and resentment like it's getting nowhere right just constantly butting heads so i honestly feel like temporarily just walk away walk away retract your energy pull back focus on yourself <sighs> take a breather okay take a little breather okay because it does look like there will be a resolution here clarifying the five of wands we have the chariot the ace of cups and the eight of swords reverse so you got really worked up you got really stressed out it was a big old deal shit hit the fan took a little breather took a little break to catch your breath both of you whoever's involved and then it's like okay let's resolve the situation i see things exactly as they are chariot and the ace of cups there's movement in this connection in this relationship for some this is a romantic relationship for some this is just some sort of connection in your life obviously um but i do see that there is movement and there's some sort of resolution at the bottom of the deck i'm getting very like <clears throat> nasally or like not nasally but like just like stuffy all of a sudden so please bear with me you know my allergies the last few days last few weeks to be honest with spring it's brutal <laughs> but anyways we have the sun six of swords the lovers ten of pentacles so this is all about moving towards more happy peaceful harmony harmonious times <laughs> right um just being on good terms so i like to see that i really do like to see that so it seems like if there's any kind of conflict or tension in the air it appears that it's going to be cleared up now i do want to look into this three of swords it's important that whatever is on your mind or whatever is bothering you you address this you acknowledge it maybe you need to discuss it um probably the three of swords for cancer sun moon rising venus in the month of june 2022 three of swords for my cancerians for the month of june 2022 and then we're going to move on to the other stuff okay <sighs> three of swords for cancer in the month of june 2022 
Three of Swords. We have the Emperor. Six of Wands. The Moon. Two of Wands. Prince of Cups Reverse. Bottom of the deck. Page of Swords. Four of Cups Reverse. Three of Pentacles. Um, yeah, let's see. So we have Aries Energy, Piscean Energy coming out it does look like you have a choice to do to make to make about this situation here the two of wands um prince of cups reversed and the moon there's uncertainty when it comes to this choice or there could be some doubt that it comes to this choice um emperor six of wands so What's this heartbreak about or sadness about or this hurt about seeing things exactly as they are you might be struggling to see things exactly as they are it's almost like your mind could be getting in the way or yeah duh no shit eight of swords right you can't see it <laughs> right i forgot about that i forgot about that card i was so like distracted here the three swords i see things exactly as they are it's like you are struggling to see how things were because you're in your head and there is a lot of confusion and a lot of illusion. Um, I honestly, again, I think I'm just repeating myself. There needs to be honest conversations here with the Page of Swords. Um, and even just like addressing issues that make you feel uncomfortable or may make someone else uncomfortable. But that's the only way in order for things to move forward, in order for there to be collaboration and understanding and working together as a team there needs to be honest con honest communication because underneath the three of pentacles page of cups reverse there is no communication there's miscommunication there's misunderstandings no one's understanding each other it's getting in the way of working together and helping each other and supporting one another there's um it's a little bit of a mix-up there's a little bit of like some blocks that need to be cleared up and so you know he with the he with a fiery sword that is also about removing any of those blockages, removing any confusions or any of that yuckiness, like just cutting straight to the point and cutting out that bullshit, basically. <laughs> so I kind of see that's relating to this situation. So we're going to move on from that. Okay, well, let's move on from that little group. Okay, let's move on to uh, this fool energy. What's this new energy that's beginning? It's obviously going to be taking you to the Ten of Pentacles, which I love to see that more confidence, more stability, especially relating to, you know, creative endeavors, things like that. But let's take a little look into that fool for cancer in the month of June 2022. Tell me about the fool for my cancerians in june 2022 what is this new energy for cancer show me clearly three oh wait what am i saying i was gonna say three of cups for some reason <laughs> maybe that card will come out so i the fool for cancer we have the king of swords or oh, no, you know what i think that was me king of swords reverse but that didn't feel right i just give me a second y'all tell me about the fool for cancer summarizing venus in the month of june 2022 Try the Fool for Cancer, summarizing Venus for the month of June 2022. All right, Four of Swords reverse with the Five of Cups. Try the Fool for Cancer. Queen of Cups. Feel your feelings. Like, that's the main thing I'm getting from this. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Hangman. Give me one. Okay, okay. King of Cups. Uh, Seven of Swords, the Chariot, and Justice Reverse at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Libra Energy. So, currently, yeah, currently things right now, probably tying back into that Five of Wands, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. There's a situation that you're dealing with where it just feels very unfair. Feels very imbalanced. It may even feel very toxic or that there could be lots of, like, manipulation on, you know, it's just, it's a yucky situation and it needs to be dealt with. No shit. We've been saying that. And this is what has you feeling really restless. Four of Swords Reverse. Lack of peace of mind. You're very much in your head. You're very much in your feelings. We've had three fives out here. Five, five, five. So there's got to be some sort of change. There has to be some sort of change. There will be some sort of change. Right? So just keep that in mind. Five of Cups. Let yourself feel your emotions. Let yourself express them. And like I was mentioning earlier, creative expression, finding a way to channel this energy outwards. Queen of Cups to the Ace of Wands. There needs to be some sort of release. 
And I see that you're doing that in this month. I see that you're finding a way to channel this energy, channel this frustration, channel out your emotions that bring healing for not only yourself, but for healing for others. We have the hangman reverse. Oh, sorry, not reverse at all. <laughs> there is no reverse. The hangman Piscean energy, being able to look at the situation from another perspective, a different viewpoint, and also... Uh, just surrendering to the things that are out of your control and just letting things happen with natural flow natural law natural ease we also have the king of cups so we do have a pair king to the queen of cups so if this is regarding a relationship maybe some things about this partnership need to be reviewed or perhaps something about the spark the connection the chemistry needs to be adjusted right there maybe is a little bit of an imbalance or again like something here needs to change i was mentioning that with the justice card reverse imbalance energy there needs to be some sort of adjustment for this to work out and be the best possible scenario so again i'm picking up on a partnership here there needs to be some sort of adjustment um and also individually needing to find outlets to express this energy and free yourself from that shit it feels a little heavy it feels a little like intense again it's like that eight of swords that i was feeling earlier but again there is some sort of movement here when it comes to the situation as well as just like on your own personal journey like i was saying it's like you're feeling very confident you're ready to take some sort of action you're ready to go after what you what you desire most um so let's take a look into that what time are we at um okay we'll look into the ten of pentacles and we gotta wrap this up you guys Ten of Pentacles for Cancer in the month of June 2022. Talking about the Ten of Pentacles for Cancerians in the month of June 2022. Whoa, the moon trying to come out. Piscean energy. All right. Um, let's try one more shot. The Lovers. Four of Cups. um four of wands and whoa the ten of cups okay all right nine of cups at the bottom so again it's like that independent happiness stability security confidence independent wishes right dreams and de desires for the future as well as then collectively sharing that with people in your family your love life friendships really beautiful sharing kind of energy okay so this is clarifying the ten of pentacles so we have the moon the lovers the four of cups coming out let's talk about these cards here so we have um piscean energy as well as gemini energy coming out <clears throat> so there's something about illumination coming up here there's also something about your intuition taking place. They like need to really listen, really hone into that inner wisdom of yours, Cancer. You are ruled by the moon. And I am filming this on the full moon in Sagittarius. But I think it reaches the fullest tomorrow. I'm not sure. But the moon is in Sag as I'm recording this. So full moon energy at play. You'll be feeling at Cancer. It'll bring you the clarity. It will bring you the answers you need as to your commitments commitments in anything right whether that's a relationship your own personal commitments towards yourself a career a goal there will be illumination of like what do i need to commit to and what adjustments do i need to make and in what areas have i been um lacking and what areas have i been allowing my own mindset to get in the way in what areas have i been feeling not good enough or doubting my worth or doubting my ability to achieve like really getting that clarity of like those blocks that have been keeping you stuck so that you can push through that you can change your perspective and come out a winner here four of wands and the ten of cups take a break allow yourself to rest get back your energy get back your strength you can't always be go 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 cancer right you're the chariot that's all you want to do is take action and go after what you want and to get to you know your goals or your dreams your desires you're on that that hustle i feel like june you're just on the hustle the hustle the hustle we had the chariot come out twice in this reading or make an appearance in this reading so i get it but remember to take time out to rest remember to take time out to have a break 
to recalibrate, to get back your energy, to get back your strength. Do not let your ego get the best of you and be like, oh my God, I should have been doing something today. Today was such a waste. Oh my God, I'm such a failure, this, that, and the other. Like, bitch, let yourself rest. Rest is just as important as taking action, right? Sometimes you have to just sit back and receive and let that flow to you right you attract what you want what you desire so just sit back release the control release the the restraints just let go and whatever is truly meant for you let it come flowing attract that shit cancer you're a magnet you can attract whatever you hope and desire and it looks like you're attracting best possible outcome in the month of june lots of good times making good memories with your loved ones friends and family there may even be some sort of celebration taking place this month like i said for my june cancerians happy birthday right so maybe you're planning a little trip or maybe you're planning a little celebration a little party a little get gathering get together <laughs> barbecue with some short some shit some sort <laughs> uh, so enjoy give yourself time to rest and don't feel guilty for it okay because you deserve it all right, Cancer. So I think we'll leave your reading here. We covered a lot. There's a lot to talk about. Use your discernment, of course. But yeah, I think we'll leave your reading over here. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you found this helpful and insightful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information for... <clears throat> information for that is in the description down below. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.